And starting from his own 12, the first Clemson possession of the game. Will Shipley rips right through the middle. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Little teammate able to run him down and save a touchdown. Well, both linebackers were so wide and widened out even with the snap of the ball. And that left starting for the fourth game in a row. That didn't happen at all last year. Uyungo, they given all kinds of time by that line. Running out of it now. Throws caught. Touchdown. Jake Brenning stool. It's a really nice job of DJ not panicking. He doesn't have anything early. He waits as long as he can. He doesn't panic or leave the pocket and then finds his tight end in the back of the end zone. Uyungo away, fires and has a man wide open. Juggling catch made by Brenningstool, who has the touchdown. And they get 30 on third down and 21. They march right down the field on the opening possession. And here they come again. Four-man rush. They don't even get near him, and the long ball is caught for a touchdown. Brandon Spector with Gavin Holmes in coverage. 41 yards. We have to get off to a good start. This is a nightmare. Well, Gavin Holmes went for the interception. The ball went through his arms into the... Pride, Colville, Lucas thrust into action today with Andrew McCoob out, Malcolm Green. They're starting nickel, not playing. The ball is out, and it goes out of bounds. As head coach of the Sooners, lost both coordinators. Tony Elliott, now the head coach at Virginia. Hartman steps up, throwing deep again, and it is gone for a touchdown. Jamal Banks beat Fred Davis for 36 yards. Help right there on Brian, Ryan Brzee. And that allows Hartman to have enough time to get the ball down the field to his best contested catch guy, Jamal Banks. One-on-one -on -one coverage again. Banks, excellent at going up and fighting for the football. But credit the back for helping on Brzee and Hartman just moving slightly in the pocket. But that slow mesh, they, they did not get off to a fast start, but they've drawn themselves back into the ball game now in a one-possession game. Reminiscent of last year when they struggled to start and down goes Hartman Back at the 20-yard line Tyler Davis Uyunglele Just one for his last five after seven for seven start going deep and caught Antonio Williams Beat Isaiah Wingfield from the slot so when you run a fade from the slot you got all kind of room on the sideline DJ knows that and puts it out over the outside shoulder and the freshman receiver makes it a contested catch that might be a long tradition at Clemson of Sweeney holders not a lot of effective holes there so far third and 13 they're on the edge of field goal range Hartman got hit as he throws and it is caught at the five-yard line from Washington, D.C. It's a safety blitz. Earlier, they got to the quarterback. That time, Hartman got... They've averaged more than 10 yards per third down. Now, back shoulder throw. Banks again. Touchdown, Demon Dinkins. With the freshman pride in coverage. 6-4-2-0-8. He's up at the top of the screen in single coverage against a smaller defensive back, and Hartman keeps it in play and puts it in a position where he can use that big body. Perfect throw to the back shoulder. And again, freshman Toriano Pride in coverage in good position, but just a great athletic play by Jamal Banks as we see the replay again from the progressive pylon cam. Defensive lineman cut loose rather than just try to stay in gaps and hold up blockers. Here's Davis Allen, lots of running room. He goes up and over and has the first down of the 19. Hit by Chalen Guard. And good. With 14 seconds to go. So 20 yards plus. It starts with protection. Watch the back pick up the blitz. Hartman steps up and working on another freshman cornerback. When you bring extra bodies in the rush, 
you have to play man, and Wake Forest is attacking. One third down conversion. This is much shorter. Back shoulder throw and a touchdown. Blake Whitehart, the ball came out, but three officials had already signaled a touchdown. How many times do you see them throw a back shoulder to a tight end? But Wake Forest practices this all the time. Does he secure the ball all the way to the ground? I think he did. The ball came out late. Catches it to the ground. There's that run Todd was calling for. Great call by Blackledge and Streeter. And a first down in the Wake territory to the 44-yard line. Told Gavin Holmes just has a cramp. They expect him back in the secondary for the Demon Deacons. Uy way jump ball. Caught. Bo Collins the catch. Back in action. Uy way kept it. Davis Allen has the touchdown. Here's Davis. He's just going to go. He's working against the safety, Mustafa. But you throw this ball high enough, and your tight end who bodies him up. But our good plays outweigh our bad plays, and that's been the case today. There's another long throw. Corner of the end zone. Touchdown. Second of the day for Donovan Green. Officials conferring now to make sure he was in. Nate Wiggins has had a tough quarter. All of last year due to injury, these are his first touchdown grabs since 2020. Perfect placement, the foot down, the ball secured. Final 40 seconds of the third quarter. Lots of time for Uwe Ungelove. Launches it up for and got him! Wow. And he got it! With J.J. Roberts in coverage. One bomb after another, good for 46. You know, J.J. Roberts is in good position, and he sees the ball. He knows that it's coming, but he just mistimes his jump. He's a little bit slow getting off the ground, and Gata goes up quickly and wins the battle. Those fifth. Shipley. Stopped, and then lunging for wow. the goal line and what gets there. Effort. We'll take a close look at it. He's hit by Gavin Holmes. Looks for sure like there's no way he can get in the end zone. Is the elbow down before the ball breaks the plane? Hard to tell, to tell from, from that, from that angle. angle. You got to see that straight down the line. The hand goes down. That's okay. Going on the field is a touchdown. The play is under further review. This will be a good angle here. I think he's good. Yeah, I think the ball is across the plane before the elbow goes down. I agree. Progressive pylon camera with the best angle. All you need to do is get it to the beginning of the goal line. He said it. Warren Ruggiero said, we'll take sacks, but we're going to make a lot of big plays down the field. Inside the 25 yard line. Single coverage beat right off the jump. It was press coverage and a perfect throw. Immediate separation. He's perfect. Seven for seven. First try today from 29. Nick Skiba, who? And the biggest play calls of Brandon Streeter's offensive coordinator career right here with help from Dabo Sweeney. Oh, young on the lay, taken down at midfield. They blitzed Mustafa. Great call by Brad Lambert. Drew Sweeney the holder. And that one is good. Both inside backers blitzed on that play. Good call. Back to the passing attack. Hartman is going down. Back inside the 40. Tyler Davis. He's the middle linebacker now. Huge play. Hartman throws to a wide open receiver for a 
touchdown. Nobody near A.T. Perry. A bust in that young and inexperienced secondary. It starts with Ellison picking up the blitz. Good pocket for Sam Hartman, then a mix up in the back end of the defense. And Hartman makes it pay for it by finding A.T. Perry. Great job picking up the blitz. By Uyunglele locks it up for Collins! Touchdown, Clemson! Beautiful throw. He beat J.J. Roberts in coverage for a 21-yard score. And then watch this, right over the outside shoulder, gets separation. Again, when the ball's thrown there, the corner has no chance. Both of these quarterbacks have been brilliant, putting the ball in the right place time after time. Progressive pylon cam shows it again. Perfect throw and catch. Billy Young on the leg. Faked it to Shipley. He throws to the end zone. Caught! Davis Allen. There was plenty of hand fighting in the end zone with Mustafa in coverage. Allen, another touchdown catch. It's Mustafa, who's 5'10 and 200. It's an intentional back shoulder throw to a tight end running down the seam. It's perfect coverage, but you throw that ball. He helped. They're not going to get beat in man-to-man. -man. Hartman throws it in a double coverage. Knocked down by Wiggins. Terrorized most of the day. And an emotional win for the Clemson Tigers.